Reading this form today uh, shows the pure distinction. This, this information, this source that came forward, it's a paid informant by the FBI. This has nothing to do with Giuliani. This has nothing to do with the information that he brought forward in 2020. It's totally separate and it's extremely credible because he's a paid informant. Um, I made some notes after I left the SCIF uh, based on the information and I'll, I'll share that with you guys right now. Um, basically what was happening there is back in 2015, 2016, Burisma was looking to buy uh, a U.S.-based oil and gas company. And this came from being advised by Hunter Biden and his partners. Um, Biden had told, Biden said Shokin was corrupt. That was around the time of this meeting was when Joe Biden as vice president had said that the prosecutor Shokin was corrupt. They hired Hunter on the board to make the problems go away. That's what they specifically said. Um, Hunter advised that they could raise more money if they bought a U.S. company. So the, the informant was trying to do the right thing and trying to advise Burisma that they shouldn't go this route. They should hire an attorney, work out their problems that they were being investigated for because they were having other legal problems and that's why they were being investigated by this prosecutor Shokin. The informant was advising them, don't go this route. You, why would you buy another US company while you're under investigation? That's not a good idea. So he's trying to tell them to do the right thing. Um, the owner of Burisma said that Hunter was stupid and that his other business partner was smart. He also said that he paid five million to one Biden and he paid $5 million to another Biden. And it was all a bribery to get Shokin fired and end the investigation into Burisma. Uh, the, he also told the informant this is common practice in Russia and Ukraine. It's common practice. It's part of business there. That's how their culture works, that they will pay bribery money in order to get business deals done and that many businesses, uh, they, they take that into account. They put it in their budget, basically, when they're preparing to buy another company or start another company, that that's just normal. And so over in Ukraine, uh, for them to consider hiring Hunter Biden on the board in order to make their problems go away, which was the prosecutor Shokin, uh, who was investigating Burisma for, for corruption and, and legal problems, this was definitely illegal for a vice president of the United States and their family members. Um, the informant had asked the, the owner of Burisma if he was happy that Trump won, and he said no, he was not happy. Remember, he had invested a lot of money into the Bidens to make his problems go away. But he did say that it would take 10 years for all of us to find out the payments made to the Bidens because of how many bank accounts there were. He said at the time there were no direct payments made to the big guy, but in a meeting later, after he had become more upset as things were unfolding, he told the informant that he has two pieces of evidence showing proof of payment to Hunter and specifically Joe Biden. You see, I think what everyone needs to understand is, is that business owners, at least most smart ones, whether they're good or bad, whether they perform their business in a legal manner or a corrupt manner, they always keep records of their business payments, uh, accounts and receivables. That's how it's done. And this owner of Burisma kept a record, especially of the bribes. And if you're in an industry where you have to pay bribes to get your business deals done, then you always want to keep keep a record and keep proof of your bribes because that's how you make sure you get people to follow through on what they're done with. Um, what I read today is is sh again shocking. Just as what I read in the Treasury Department with all the SARS report is shocking. But we are going to continue following this investigation. We're going to continue to look into every single thing that we can uncover. Um, we need the FBI to keep cooperating with us. That's extremely important. And I have very high expectations of Christopher Ray that he'll do the right thing 
and continue uh, showing the, us the information that we're asking for. Um, what I'm upset about though is the FBI uh, doesn't think the American people are worthy of this unclassified information. I certainly do. I think the American people deserve to see it and know every single bit of it. That's why when I left this gift, I made all my notes on, on this piece of paper here so that I could explain everything to the American people.